So, we said last week we were going to do some album reviews, didn't we, Harry? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what Go were the on. albums, Harry? How many, how many albums um, did you listen to, Harry? I, well, out of the three, I have listened to... None. None of them. Oh, mate. What I've, heard of, I've pretty much heard of all the Jerry Springer. I've heard two songs, so that's pretty You're much You're about Jerry to say Springer. Jerry Springer. Jerry Cinnamon. Jerry Springer. You're saying Jerry Springer. <laughs> that's how much he pays. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. Jerry Springer. Jerry Springer. Love I, I, Jerry I guarantee Jerry he's a better singer. I guarantee it. Mate, I, was, oh. I love Jerry Springer, though. Fucking Which, what, what oh, album should we start with then, boys? Should we go with Jerry Cinnamon? Let's, well. let's, yeah, let's give a hot take on it. Yeah, this. the only one that Harry's listened to, so let's go for it. So, I reckon the old man should start with this and what he thinks of Jerry Cinnamon because you are the one that recommended it. Should we get on a scale of. Right. On a scale of 1 to 10? Absolutely amazing. Yeah. <laughs> love it. Amazing. What well, makes you love it so much? Just everything about it. I just. And the lyrics are quite simple. Yeah. So I can remember them. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, catchy. Cat, very catchy. Yeah. Pub singer, yeah. bro. Like very the riffs. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Cool. Yeah. Like it, just like it. Sweet, okay. Harry, how, Good take. How, how often do you like it? Just sometimes? Mm, nearly all of the time. <laughs> what do you think, Ben? What do you think of Jerry Cinnamon? He's on a far He is coach. a terrible singer. Okay. But it is catchy. Okay. It is catchy. Adam? Yeah, car, car music, toe tapping, if you just want to kind of blank out, because I obviously drive a car and tap my toes whilst driving. Okay. He doesn't drive. <laughs> it's, a good, it's all right, it's not the best thing. Prefer it live, because like yeah. Dad said, it's it's more of a performance rather than actually music. To be honest, music. though, you find that with like yeah. most artists. He, like When you go to a live show, you love them more. But it yeah, is, but it's because it's that folky style of music. Yeah. It always sounds better when it's live because they could. They... I don't know, mate. Like it, it doesn't sound bad. Like on a vinyl, especially, you're gonna enjoy. Yeah, I've listened to it on vinyl, but I can guarantee the sound quality would be like. You know, nice yeah. Better. What do you think? Yeah, I prefer the Stinks. crowd. Out Stinks, eh? I prefer the crowd driving the. Out. Yeah, okay. He done not got some mixed it's reviews there. Harry, you it's like it that me. much that you made your own bro, lyrics. That, 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 that sums up how time. bad it is, bro. I had to make up my own lyrics for it to be interesting. You sing it all the time, Harry. Don't lie. Maybe some of the time. Maybe sometimes. <laughs> He's on a far gone ego nah, trip. Bro, it's not, I can't. So, so, do, 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 do. I, I thought, uh, I'll be honest, I listened to it today. It was one of them where it was like, we had three, three albums that we're going to review. And Jerry Cinnamon was last, and I left it till last minute. But still, thought, got to listen to it. So I did, and I gave it the full time that I should have given it, and attention. So not much. Um, well, I'll start off by saying that it wasn't terrible. Like, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Catchy songs, some nice riffs there. I liked the mix of, like, so there's some ballads on there, there's some more upbeat tempo yeah. ones as well. Some quite like I can understand for because he's got quite a cult following as an ind uh, independent artist and he'll appeal to a lot of like Scottish people. Where they're, and they're a song about Glasgow, yeah. I tried to pick up on, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so I can understand that, <clears throat> can understand him being good live as well. Would I listen to it again? Absolutely not. Um, you might not have the, a choice the if lyrics you come over. Were, yeah, as I say, like poetic but like middle school kind of poetry. Um, but yeah, it wasn't fair. like some of them were catchy. Like I, I was yeah. bopping along yeah, to a few yes. of them and like, oh yeah, like that, you know. So yeah, that's my take. Kind of poetry then to this oh, my music. poetry's bars, mate. Yeah, wait till the rap battles. We'll see. <laughs> you don't even want to know. Um, so yeah, that's my take on the Jerry Cinnamon. What's the album called again? Erratic, Erratic Cinematic, Cinematic, isn't it? Yeah, pretty cool album name. Sounds given like, that. Does sound like a rapper's album in like the nineties. A little bit. A little bit. Erratic cinematic. But yeah. And do you know what? The cinematic vibe, even though the lyrics were quite basic, it did paint a bit of a picture. Yeah. I'd imagine it being a bit of a black and white picture in some shit in Scotland. But... <laughs> it is still. a very Scottish... Yeah. Album, of course it is. He's a Scottish fella, isn't it? Yeah, so it's bound to be. But... It is very Scottish, though. Yeah. So I get the appeal. I get it's kind of like, you know, that kind of punky, folky, rocky... I don't really know yeah. how to describe the genre, yeah. but it's... In, in, it's there. indie like, folk. Indie. Yeah. Regardless. Indie folk. Props to the guy for doing it without any sort of label. Yeah, absolutely. Like, I, Props I, to him for that. I would 
absolutely agree with you on that. If you can go independent, fuck them ages. Excuse my French, man. But, but it's true, so he's, he's managed true. to get played all over the radio quite a few times. Um, and he's yeah, not absolutely. signed. If you can make a living people. off of selling out shows in your fair, own hometown, fair, why wouldn't you do it? Happy days, yeah. Why wouldn't you do it? Then they've got so. three million, haven't they? Yeah. Probably. Yeah, Reinvest yeah, into it, yeah. He's actually made about three million. Yeah, yeah. It's all right, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. It's a job done then. Not, not bad for someone that's been Show, Ticket sales is where you're going to get your money from. And that's what labels, major labels tend to do 360 deals now. So they're taking money not only from the music itself and royalties from that, they'll take a massive split of your shows yeah. that you sell and they'll also take splits of like merchandise and anything else yeah, that you yeah. sell. So, yeah. yeah, it's not even just about the records that they're. Yeah, 100%. I think Europe had that and they were like, yeah. Yeah, you have to do a minimum of yeah, yeah. a ridiculous Yeah, amount, so like seven albums, whatever. Like, yeah, yeah some of them crazy so yeah that's erratic cinematic what's the next album we went with Magic. Mom, what did we go with <gasps> rumors mm. i with mac who who wants to start mum you start with that then what do you think what's why did you recommend this album to us <clears throat> to listen to well it's just one of those classic albums that i hold dear and well a treasure 77 was it that it came out yeah so you were 11 both yeah. of you but I didn't know about the album until I heard one or two of the tracks, obviously, because I was only young, <coughs> obviously, in 77, but I heard more of it in 78, and that's okay. when I bought my first Rumours album, and it was, it was, it's just got a lot of memories linked to it, and, and some recognisable tracks by... Mm. Oh, it's one thing I can say about it. That was a stat quite classic. Big, like 70s, early they 80s. Were yeah. huge. They were huge. That, that album listening. was the one that really yeah. kind of took, yeah. took yeah. off. The for songs them, are it? popular, innit? Like, of course they are. I, I didn't listen to it, obviously. Dan, um, Dan, but Dan, Dan, people Dan, that Dan, I know Dan. like love them as well. Like, yeah. Not the to girls, mention the inspiration love. they've had on like, there's so many hip hop songs out there that have sampled Fleetwood Mac. Still no, even that, me. James. They did Songbird, which was the original yeah. one, which is. They broke me, mate. Elise really broke me. Born and to I got the Eva Cassidy too. version. Oh, was it yeah, you wouldn't remember because none of Danielle, you were there for the oh. dance. Danielle walk, no, Danielle walked down the aisle. Oh, right. So you all were there. Oh, Songbird. Um, yeah. yeah. Would you agree to agree. say, like, back in that time and. That was around the time that music was like the soundtrack to your life more. Like, mm -hmm. oh, obviously, I wasn't there at I'm that point, massively. but I can imagine. If you think, you know, what you youngsters have now in your lives with social media and you know, these other platforms that you can yeah. follow, etc. In our young years, when we were hitting our teens, it, what, even before then, all we had was the radio yeah. and music and we were forever listening to Top 40, Late, you know, the classic episodes. Late 70s <coughs> and early 80s, it was like between 4 and 6 every Sunday evening it was Top 40, wasn't Absolutely. it? Do you know what though, still, still when we, I was... We everybody went home yeah. to take yeah. Yeah. Top 40. But I would still do that. Can you not when, remember with the... Yeah, yeah. yeah I used to take... So that was, I was about a 12. Of, a lot yeah. of people of our age that will remember doing this and we all did it because mm. we listened to the radio in the top 40 every week yeah. and we would set our tape recorder tape recorders yeah, yeah, cassettes yeah yeah because there was no cds and everything back then no. really there and was tapes when i was around but again that's <laughs> yeah, what but hold on we used to literally have the record button set yeah and pause yeah Red so when the um dj was actually doing this talking whatever and as soon as the next track stuff we release it and every week we would record that current week's top 40. Mm. It was just an activity we so music was huge. hundred percent. You were saying it was a that. um it's like the soundtrack to your life. So you were Fleetwood Mac whereas dad would probably be well, like I liked I mean, I like, I, I like all sorts. Kevin people. Bloody Wilson, yeah. Madness. Uh, like madness is quality, don't this yeah. madness, man. Yeah, but dad like walking, just... Of, yeah. of 70s music and so on, but I, I also did like rock. Heavy metal, you know, I understand, I, I do understand the Batman. impact that that album had back then. I also like the fact that after doing a little bit of research, and I vaguely knew this anyway, but 
the group themselves all being in relationships, but they were all going through at that time. Yeah, that's the whole process point of what well. rumours were. They basically, from what I understand, they actually went separately, made their own songs, and then came back and made this album. To be which able is why to do not, that, they're not all you know singing together. They're, they're just to playing, be able to do then, that is insane. Though. Was as a group, written <sighs> by Mick Fleetwood. It was Albatross. Albatross. Now yeah. that is, I would, I, if you just want to hear some classical, it, it's just one of those tunes that you, you will re recognise the tune yeah, and you'll possibly, think, yeah. ah, I know that. Play it and appreciate that that style of music and that's how they carry <coughs> on hmm. through all. But the thing is, that, that whole album is stacked full of back to classics. back yeah. bangers mate oh, I thoroughly enjoyed it we haven't commented on the music itself yet like 70% of them I knew anyway hearing it <laughs> as a whole project yeah excellent Had and a great time. Stevie Nicks is a baller mm -hmm. yeah. I love 100%. Stevie Nicks 100% she's a crazy person oh I love it though I love it so yeah I have nothing negative to say about it to be honest with you quality. nothing negative to say it is an absolute classic and the Formula One song Absolutely. I mean, the chain is a banger. Like, ding, 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 ding. I just yeah. Yeah, but ding, that one. It's the drums, the drums around that time as well. Oh I think that's God. one thing they, <laughs> from my understanding, like very the unique. At, like listening to it, that's <clears> where it started a whole new wave of like, like the, I can't even describe uh, like it. They're like they were heavy, they're, they're bassy, like crispy drums, like yeah, yeah. real kind of. Yeah, sharp. And that's why again a lot of hip hop. Damn. Music like through, I would say, like the yeah, probably late nineties. I would see, say even of sample with that, the group themselves. Everybody relates to Stevie Nicks being because she was at the forefront on yeah. the stage all the time singing. But Chrissy McBee mm. did a lot of, of the writing, the writing, mm. and she obviously she sang. Songbird. I do prefer Rose Eva Cassidy's Songbird. version, though. It's, I know, obviously, I know, you can't, you can't take away from. One of those beautiful sounds. Her tone was just, yeah. you cry just by hearing her. But you know, Chrissy was very good writer. Yeah. And Absolutely, she did a lot of their writing. The fact that they were all going through divorce proceedings and yeah. stuff, and actually still yeah. managed to creatively produce that album. They came back. Yeah. Briefly to do another tour. Yeah. When they were a lot older, and, and what ten years? Or something yeah. Like that. But ten years ago, something. So if you were to so, pick yeah. a single song out of the album, can't, can't. If you, no, but if you, I tried had earlier. Two, can't, can't. Go your own way. Great yeah. song. Yeah. Can't. Spend. Great Don't stop. You choose the, the chain. The chain is just quality. Dreams. Dreams. Don't stop. Dreams. Dreams. Brilliant. Dreams Mate, they're but all bangers. Each track means something else to me. Yeah. yeah. No, I get it. <laughs> I get it completely. So yeah, yeah, banger of an album. Not a part of the album, but Rhiannon. Huh? Rhiannon, the yeah, song. That's, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not a part of the actual oh, album, no. but yeah, it was a good hit. Phenomenal yeah. song. So, obviously, moving on then. Again, absolute <clears throat> banger of an album. So Dad didn't listen to it. So. Them. What? Oh, magic! Did you? No, no, no. Magic Dad's either. probably not listened to any of it other than Jerry Cinnamon, mate. Oh. He knows. He knows Fleetwood oh. Mac, obviously. He knows Fleetwood Mac. Yeah, but he ain't yeah, reminded yeah. himself. I didn't listen to Fleetwood Mac. I haven't listened to him one, though. Oh. I haven't got around to that one. Damn. Wait until next week, think, so. then. So, shall I let... I'll, I'll say why I recommended it. Obviously, Nas, legend that he is in the hip-hop realm. Um, he's had three albums released in 2021. King's Disease 1, King's Which Disease 2. Which is just two. crazy and impressive. Magic, so he is in form. And I That's just like the fact that Magic he put out without any kind of, it was just a surprise drop. So that, he didn't, no kind of. Yeah. But that was a total of like no 20 rollout. tracks over the three, isn't it? What's that? Over the three albums. Over the three albums, tracks. about 20 tracks, wasn't it? Because uh, I know this one is I about. I say 30. Eight. There's nine tracks on Magic. Is there nine on yeah, Magic? I'll tell you so. what, I'll have a look whilst you talk. Um, you mm. might be right, but I think there was probably about eight, nine, ten, something on. That's right, each I'll have one. a look whilst you. But chat. yeah, so. I liked the fact with this one as well, it was, I would say, the rawest out of the three releases. So although I think probably <coughs> Things Disease 1 and 2 are the better albums, better projects, so you can go back and listen to them if you if you want to. Magic was just like him showing off, basically, and just showing like, I'm, sti it, I'm it still... Shows like, as the well, guy's yeah. like 50. Well, I don't know if he 48. is. 48. 48. So He's 21 years past the 27 Club. Just, yeah, there you go. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've I just, have heard it a lot now. Yeah. I've just checked. Uh, King's Disease was in 2020. 
King's Disease 2 was 21, Magic was 21, and then he did the expanded edition. Of, it was definitely it was three written. projects. Yeah, so he did, it was written as expanded edition in written. 2021. Yeah, that's not part of it. But um, it might have dropped just three albums or, within a year. Thirteen. Yeah, it's mad. It's mad regardless. Twenty-seven. And, and all of them being good. good. So yeah, and the album itself is just yeah, it's, it's flawless. Thirty-five. Nice, like thirty-five tracks. Since he's twinned up with. Did you say twenty-seven plus nine was thirty-five. Thirty-six. Um, what was I saying? Lost. Lost trail of thought. The albums. Yeah. Teaming up with Hitboy, producer, so obviously Nas has had a period of time where he's just, like, he's always been known as that rapper that doesn't pick good beats yeah. to rap on. And that's where his shortfall is, whereas with this, can't comment on that, the beats are me. flawless, like, he flows on them flawless, he's got a really good partnership with Hitboy, so, yeah, that's why I suggested it. Yeah. What do you think? Album was absolutely fire. I like Meet amazing. Joe Black. Meet Joe Black. Meet that Joe was a banger. Awesome yeah. track. Truth is a banger. Truth is good. <laughs> Dedicate. Oh, to be honest, the entire thing. You can yeah. just sit there and listen through the entirety yeah. of it. Nice and short. I know, I, I've listened tracks. to it a lot. It is so good. And you can just keep on listening to it. And it's just no. They have too many songs. It makes it drag. Well, mate, like Nowadays, I was saying. Nowadays, people have short attention spans. Yeah. Well, what, 20, I love 20, 20 hours, 29, 29 minutes, right? mate. If, they're, if it's a good project, mate, I love a lot of projects. I always projects. feel like there's, love it. there's good And then there's some you go. It's similar to movies, though, yeah, isn't it? it? Like it, a three hour movie, if it's a shit film. It's, yeah. Whereas you wouldn't, it, like, you wouldn't set through the entirety of yeah. Lord of the Rings if it was shit. I wouldn't because it's just not my bag anyway, but that's fair. It's, just it's not. fair. It's not for everyone, but yeah. But yeah, so like <clears throat> classic film, some classic films can be three hours long, but then most that's one most are like an hour and a half mm. or less now, isn't it? Like yeah. people just don't have that sort of level of attention span. Um, but yeah, it's nice to just sit there and have, if it's every track's Great. a banger, nine tracks. Yeah, is, yeah. it's yeah. only 29 minutes, so Good. Yeah. half an hour of yeah. your life, mate. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Fantastic, mate. Oh, that, Excellent. Quality. You listened, Adam? I did, yes. What did you think? Obviously, not yeah, being no, yeah, a th hip hop head person. Yeah. Like, I know no, you enjoy I enjoyed it. Things. It was, um, I was listening to it, I was doing the garden, so it was kind of like, it was in the back of my head, but there were some moments where I was like, oh, shit. What? The thing is with Nas as well, you. you have to, it, he's an artist where you have to kind of sit back and listen. Mm -hmm. Like, it's not just. When you just you know, on and have radio that. tracks and stuff, yeah, you don't just, it's not a vibe as such, even though it is a vibe, like... Listen to the actual lyrics. You have to lyrics, listen to the lyrics, yeah. and you get something different every time. Like, he's a real lyricist, and he's paved the way for a lot of, you mm -hmm. know, some of my other personal favourite rappers. Most, you know. So he's, How old he's is he in now? the top, let's say, 48, you say. 48. 48. That's mad. He literally he's says he's yeah, he 21 does. years past the 27 club. Yeah. Well, fair enough. Yeah. That is mad. 48 well, doing that, mate. Yeah. So, but yeah, all round yeah. phenomenal. To be honest, for, I would say two, two out of the three albums, thumbs up. I would even say three out of the three, mate, because Jerry Cinnamon, if you're that type of, like, it seems to be cult following, like, if you in, are into that sort of music, if you're into, like, stereophonics and those sorts of things. And stereophonics. Your... I love stereophonics. Well, I know what album Fair. we're doing. Now. Okay, maybe not Stereophonics. Maybe that's yeah. a bad example. But if Sons. you're into the Pogues, if oh, you're yeah. into... Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, the Pogues! Oh, yeah. Had time. Yeah, they couldn't hang. Yeah, if you're into that sort of genre, then Jerry Cinnamon's for you. Yeah. Um, and I didn't... I wasn't, like, upset listening to it. I got through it, and it was like... Yeah. Whereas, I as soon it. as... I would as not be listening to it again. What was Mum like when we put it on the Alexa? Fuming, absolutely fuming. Mum was like, oh... Alexa, um, oh, yes. I asked for one song to be played, and then you. She asked for song. She asked for Songbird. I was like, it's all right. I put it on, and I just went play Jerry Cinnamon. She was like, No, <laughs> you never let me do this. I'm like, Jerry's all right. I'm putting on Songbird. So for next week, then, I don't know if any of you have thought of any albums. I've got I one. Have got I've one. got one. Have you? I think oh, I sweet. suggest one. Do I have one? Well, I think he loses that right because he yeah, didn't friggin' listen to yeah. the one. Yeah, Harry, <laughs> Harry doesn't yeah. You listen to these I ones. do have one, but I'm not... But No, yeah. go on, mate. What? what? Uh, but I also feel like it's quite a popular Ooh. one. I think most people would have heard it. But it would be the weekend one. Beauty Behind the Madness. I right. Know, Beauty think. Behind the Madness we can do. Yeah. I love that album. We can comment that? on that. Yeah. I, I probably heard songs, but not. It's so good. Did you say Beauty Behind the Madness? It's his first... Add that in. 
first official album though, isn't it? Because uh, he did mixtapes. No, because like, his first one. official yeah. one was but Trilogy. Um, was that an actual album? House of Balloons. Oh, so? so House of Balloons, yeah. Thursday, Echo of Silence, and then Trilogy. Yeah, but the trilogy is a mix of three of those mixtapes. Yeah, but it's... it's uh, Kiss Land as well, and then it was Beauty Behind the Mask. But they're not LPs, like what I'm saying is the first yeah. LP, I think, was Beauty. Potentially, but it's... So, uh, yeah, I love was it. it? But yeah, by so all means, we can review that. that. Yeah. We can review that, no problem. Um, I'm torn Boys, I'll listen, two, I promise so. you, it's my word, I'll listen to them all. Okay, we sound. What's your suggestion, Sven? Mine is an album that I loved when I was in my, like... Mid to late teens. Uh, Go on, then. Right. No. It's, it's, Thomas said no. <laughs> it is not, not what you're thinking. And not what you're It is thinking. not Green Day. No. Good. No. Not Green Day. no. Go on, mate. Good. Not what you're thinking. They've just done a reunion tour as not well. Not busted. No. The <laughs> <laughs> oh. Rolling Stones. Uh, no. Uh, the Beatles. <laughs> no. The Beatles? No. Just let them say it. My Chemical Romance. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Okay. The Black Parade. I really, really <laughs> like his voice. So yeah. I'm keen. Brilliant, brilliant. You want Black Parade, okay. yeah? The Black Parade is a quality. Cool. Okay. And yeah. Adam, did you have one? I'm torn between two. Do, I go, do I go for the first one or the second one? Yeah, go for whatever you want to okay. go for, mate. Okay. Uh, Anti Deluxe by Rihanna. Okay. It's actually. It okay. Like... No, no, no. Okay. I'm it's pretty sure I've heard most, of an album. to be honest. I yeah. I think I've heard most. But yeah. We've gone for three 50-minute albums, by the way, so we're currently at three that. hours of music. What? I'm just not a big Rihanna fan. Well, I'm suck fan, it up. She is a beautiful woman. She, she really is. is. Her eyes are like glass. Her voice is like butter. Butter. <laughs> I, ha I also her have one. If like easily spread. She's easily spread, did you say? In the butter. Wow, she was. I also have one, if we want to throw a fourth Yes, 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 yes. Shall we do it? I like Are this you one as well. All in the oh, yeah, we're, we can all we'll whack it all in the group chat. I like Mine this Mine is one that has, so all of these are old that we've... So yeah, yeah. Relatively. Yeah. Yes. But we've got one new one. So obviously Anyone this, it makes it easier that we've actually heard a few of these. So I can give my opinion on yours. Oh, easily. Without even having, even though I will listen to yeah. it again. <laughs> but I don't have to listen to it. I tell you what, my one will probably bring back because I'm pretty sure you yeah, listen to a yeah, few yeah, of those. Yeah, so. yeah, I will have done. So there's, yeah, it's not going to be hard listening to these. I can put these on. I don't know about you boys. Easily. So the fourth one is a new album that has come out and it is Locksmith Lock Sessions yes, Volume mate, 3. Oh, done. Locksmith is awesome. I've seen that. It's literally. Locksmith, like, you, have you heard of Locksmith? Out. No, it's a rapper. I, I mate, listened you're in for a treat. to. Um, released I, I, haven't, I haven't heard it all myself yet. I've heard like three of the tracks. I, I listened, I listened to Volume 2 uh, three or four days ago? Uh, four days Something ago. Like that, as yeah. of today, four days ago. It came out on the 25th. Like you want anybody that's. You know, what she she doing this? Tea? No. <laughs> <laughs> what's she doing that for? Do what? <laughs> what it? I'll tell you what. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I've got a sudden fear for you. Nothing wrong with these. Right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's what, the milkshake brings all the boys to the yard album. <laughs> uh, I get that I got I get that I got my nipple out earlier, right. but shush, shush. Go on, Mum. It's a family show. Um, to like we did last week. The yeah, they have to watch our pod to begin. Then, but for this one, the next pod, if they can comment, you know, between now and then, comment on and the pod. On, the, on our um, YouTube, what of recommendations for what no, we should listen to? The opinions. Listen yeah, yeah. Well, the that's time. naturally they're going to do yeah. that anyway if they pick up the pod. Yeah. We've only yeah. got like twenty people reading. Exactly, anyway, but so. it'd be good. Absolutely. This is what, what the whole point of this is, isn't it? Absolutely. So we've, opinions so we've got below. yeah, absolutely. Put your comments down yeah. below. Let us know what you think of the albums we've just discussed. If you've heard them, so obviously it was Nas Magic, um, Rumors, 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 Rumors Mac. by Fleetwood Mac, and Jerry Cinnamon, Erratic Cinematic. Let us know if you've heard any of those albums. What you think? Um, yeah. Tell us on any of our <coughs> socials. Absolutely. At Sons of Nana D on Facebook, Instagram. Twitter and TikTok. Oh, well, he's not going to do it. He's away with fairies. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To be fair, he would have said and Tic Tac. He's yeah. been saying that a lot lately. <laughs> Out of everyone, you would think that dad would promote. To uh, I was about to say Tic Tac. Tic Tac. Tic Tac. Because he's on it he all the time the, now. He sends me one every yeah, day and it'll be it. like he's working. That was quite a deep one you sent. Was it yesterday? Are you feeling one? a bit mellow? 
What was it? Okay, remember. It was the whole you have value, like that one with the money, scrumpling up the money. Shut up, did he? Did you not see it? No. Oh, mate, yeah, have a look, go back. On the it was nice, track. it was nice. I bet you anything. Oh, I guarantee it was an accident. What, yeah, what no, probably happened is Dad went to tap it and scrolled to the next maybe video. <laughs> but it was a nice sentiment. I liked it. But yeah, do let us know in the comments what you think of the albums that we're going to review this week. So we've got what, what was yours got? again? Behind the Madness. Beauty Behind the Madness from the weekend. Obviously, this is it's an old album, but we think it's his best, don't we? I love that easily. Album. easily. Um, mine was Locksmith, Lock Sessions, Volume Three. If you're a hardcore hip hop head, you'll know about him. Adam, yours was Rihanna, Anti. Oh wait, Anti, yeah. Anti. I don't Mom, think you're waiting, mate. I was I'm just waiting for Mumton. Oh. I thought we were each doing our own one. Well, it, yeah. whatever then. What's yours then, Adam? Rihanna, Anti Deluxe. You look at the camera then, it's on you. God's sake, I don't look at me. Tell. I, can't can't tell. I, thought it away. I thought it was on you still. <laughs> oh, Spam, what was yours? My Chemical Romance, The Black Parade. Sweet. Let us know what you think in the comments. And yeah, if you like this video, please do hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to stay in the loop of all new content. We've also got next episode of Sibling Rivalry. Rivalry? Rivalry. Sibling Rivalry being shot on Sunday. We're Sib going to be doing a Hot Wings Challenge. A little bit apprehensive about it, but it should be good fun and you should get some entertainment out of our reaction. So stay tuned for that.